All right. What's up, good people? Um, Ash here. So this video is going to be for those of you who are primarily using a Logic Pro to run your click tracks or your loops. In this video, I'm gonna actually show you how to run multiple tracks of different tempos and different time signatures all in one session versus, you know, having to pull up separate sessions with each track and that can be time consuming, it can freeze up and it, it honestly is just not, it's, it's honestly just not an efficient way to run your loop. In Logic, you're basically gonna go to File, hit New, and you're basically gonna just open up a new session, right? And this window will pop up. You're gonna go to Audio, and you're just going to Create. All right, so I'm gonna pick like three random click tracks of my own um, to, to show you how to do this. So here is a folder of just some tracks I have. Um, so the first track I'm gonna do is, this is a song called Build Your Home, right? So you're just gonna take it, you're just gonna drag it straight in. Um, ignore all of that. So on all of my loops, I include the BPM. So whenever I'm importing them, it's a lot easier to know what it is. I don't have to search for it. So here you're gonna go to your display and you're just gonna match it, all right? And we're just gonna cycle it, right? And we're just gonna make sure it works. Right, so it loops, fine, cool, right? So that's the first track. The first track is probably the easiest thing to do here. So once you have that first one in, you're gonna come here to this little drop down arrow where it shows your arrangement markers, signature, and tempos. The first thing you're going to do, and I recommend, is you're gonna set a marker for each track. So you're gonna do the first one, um, move it, oops. move it here. So this song is Build Your Home, all right? Enter. So now here's the next important step. So what I usually do is I leave a couple of measures before I enter in the next track. So next track, I'll probably add it in at measure five, right? And so let's do, I don't know. Um, uh, let's do Days of Elijah. Same thing. You're gonna take it and you're gonna drag it into a different track. So you're not gonna put it on the in the same region as your previous track, but you're gonna put, this, put it on its own track in, it, in a different region. So we started at five. Now here is the next important part. So this area here where this temple is, you see this little dot, you're gonna come here to, you know, to measure after your first track is over and you're gonna click it, right? And that's all you have to do there because all we're doing is separating this tempo from the next one. And then you're gonna come here to your next track and Days of Elijah, I have it set to 100 BPM. So now we're just gonna take that second dot that we made, let me move this out the way, and move it down to 100. just like that. So now the only thing you're having to do when you, it's time to go to the next track is move your cycle um, bar over and just stretch it for as long as you need to. Um, so here in the display, you can see it's at 100. And if you go over here to this track, it's at 113. So let's play this. see it's looping right so mad easy so now we're gonna do one more and this time we're gonna pick a song that um, has a different time signature so I can show you how to do that 
So like I said before, skip like a measure or two and we're gonna start here. So now let's pick uh, like a six, eight joint. Um, all right, so we're gonna take this, um, I think I have a, just a generic six to eight loop right here. So we're gonna take this again, put it on its own track in its own region, put it here. We're gonna come to a measure before it and click the little dot to separate the previous track from this track come to this track, the beginning of this track, right on the one, click it, and then we're gonna drag down the tempo to what that is. Now here is the next step for songs that are in different time signatures. We're gonna come here to signature, over here, hit the plus sign, and you're just gonna assign it to its proper time signature. So this song is in 6-8, so now it tells me it's in 6-8. So now we're gonna take our cycle bar, bring it over, and it should, it should, um, Just like that. So now you have, so just remember this too, because I forgot to do it. Make sure you're naming your songs, right? Just do that real quick. Um, let's just do He's Able, right? That way you can visually see what's what and where it is. So now let's say it's time to do um, build your home. The only thing you really have to do is just make sure your cycle bar is the right length. So, right, we're done with that song. All right, now they're ready for the next song, right? Bring that over. Next song. All right, and let's say it's time for the next song, right? Bring that over. Ooh. And just like that, you know. And just, my feet. and just like that, you have multiple tracks in the same session. You really didn't have to do that much work. I think I just did all of this prep time in less than 10 minutes. You know, obviously depending on how many songs you have, it may take you a little bit longer. Um, but those are all of the steps. Again, like I said, I feel like Ableton is going to be uh, the better doll to do it in. And I will make a video showing you how to do that and why it's just better in my opinion. This is how you do multiple loops in one session. Hope this helps you guys.